hi everyone welcome to my channel today's video i'm gonna show you how to make this crochet tote bag made from scruff yarn this bag i made uh, 51 foundation chains and this one i have bigger i made 61 foundation chains and if you want smaller you can make a uh, less number of foundation chain this pattern is easy for beginners and this black handle is measured about 19 by 13 inches and you can pause your video here for the pattern of first three rounds to start make a slip knot and chain 51 i use double strands of yarn to make it thicker you can use multiple strands of yarn it depends the thickness of your yarn make one half double crochet second chain from the hook to make a half double crochet yarn over insert your hook and yarn over pull up the loop yarn over pull through three loops and insert your stitch marker into this first half double crochet continue making a half double crochet until you have one left chain and to change the color of your yarn don't finish your half double crochet i'll show you how to do yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull up the loop and then insert your new color and tie them together to secure your stitch most of my yarn that I used is size number 4 medium yarn. We are here at the last chain we're going to put five half double crochet and into the first half double crochet put your stitch marker And after you completed the uh, five half double crochet and put stitch marker into the fifth half double crochet and continue making a half double crochet until you have one stitch left We are here at the last stitch 
you can see this chain that we made a uh, first half double crochet we're gonna put four half double crochet Don't forget to put a stitch marker here into the first uh, half double crochet that we made into the last stitch so we completed the five half double crochet here so slips slip stitch into the uh, first half double crochet And we have 106 half double crochet in total. So 5 for the first chain and then 48 plus 5 and then 48. So the total is 106 half double crochet. Round 2, chain 1, 2 half double crochet same stitch or into this very first stitch so we have here two half double crochet one and then two and put stitch marker here into the second half double crochet remember this first this first half double crochet we're gonna slip stitch after this second round and continue making a half double crochet until you reach the stitch marker So we're here we have these five stitches we're going to put two stitches in each stitch so increase two in here two in here two two half double crochet two half double crochet so we're gonna have a total of ten half double crochet in this side Don't forget to put your stitch marker here into the very first stitch. And put your stitch marker back into the last stitch. 
Continue making a half double crochet until you reach the next stitch marker. So we're here into the stitch marker. Put increase four times. And put your stitch marker back into the first half double crochet. And then slip stitch into the first half double crochet that we made. So we have total of 10 half double crochet in this side. And in this second round, we have a uh, total of 116 half double crochet. So to make it wider, we're going to add one more row. For third row, chain one, same stitch, one half double crochet. So this is our first half double crochet. In here, stitch marker we're gonna put two half double crochet remove your stitch marker and and make two half double crochet and you can put back your stitch marker here in case you want to add uh, more increased rows Continue your half double crochet here and then we're here on the other side, remove your stitch marker and then put two half double crochet, same stitch and back your, put back your stitch marker in case you want to increase more. And then next stitch, one half double crochet. And do this five times. So the pattern is one increase, one half double crochet. One increase, one half double crochet. And then continue your 48 half double crochet. So we're here. Next stitch marker. Remove your stitch marker and make a one half double crochet. And then increase. Two half double crochet, same stitch, and do this four times. So one half double crochet, increase, one half double crochet, increase, one half double crochet, increase, one half double crochet, increase. And then slip stitch into the first 
of double crochet that we made. In this round, we have a total of 126 half double crochet. So this is how wide the bottom part of our bag, our tote bag. Next round is no increase round. We're going to make uh, two chains and one double crochet, same stitch. Two chains doesn't count as a stitch. And you can put your stitch marker here on the very first double crochet. And you're going to make a, a double crochet in each stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook. Yarn over, full of the loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. So continue making a double crochet in each stitch all the way around. To change color for your double, uh, double crochet, don't finish your double crochet like this. And then you're going to insert your new collar. We are here at the end of this round. You're going to slip stitch into the top of the double crochet. And then next round, chain 2 into the same stitch. Make a uh, 1 double crochet. And then continue your double crochet in each stitch. So one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. This is how I change my color at the end of the round.
So now I have here 20 rounds of no increase or 20 rounds of double crochet. Here's the bottom part of the tote bag. The three rows of uh, with increase. Here is uh, the side that we uh, slip stitch. And then we're going to slip stitch and then chain one and pull your yarn. And inside out, waving in ends. So this is the center of the side, center of the side. If you flatten both sides, it's equal and perfect here where we stop. So you're going to put a stitch marker here where we slip stitch. And count back here up to 63 stitch. And after you reach the 63 stitch, you're going to put the stitch marker. So here we have a total of 63 stitches. From here to here should be 63 stitches. And the next stitch put a stitch marker and count 63 make sure that both side has a 63 stitches So we have two stitch markers both sides. From stitch marker we're going to count 20 stitches. So one from the stitch marker here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And then put the stitch marker. Same here from stitch marker, count up to twenty. One, and put your stitch marker on the other side has 20 and the other side has 20 20 stitches And next we're going to do the same 
into the other side of the bag. So count 20, one, And put your stitch marker and from here 20 again So we're going to start in here, double crochet up to here, and then chains, double crochet, and then chains here, and then double crochet and slip stitch, and then make another round again. So let's start the handle of the bag. I have two ways how to change the color whatever you prepare or easier for you to do you can choose I'm going to use black color for the handle And after you change color, chain 2, same stitch, 1 double crochet, and continue making a double crochet until you reach the next stitch marker. Not this stitch marker, the next stitch marker. here we're gonna put or we're gonna stop here so remove your stitch marker and then put the double crochet so after your double crochet here you're gonna chain 60 make sure that make sure it's not twisted and then after your 60 chains put your double crochet here where the stitch marker is so right here the double crochet like this and then insert your hook yarn over Pull the loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. So look at this, our double crochet. It's hard to see because of the color of the yarn. Here. And then continue making a double crochet. So 
a double crochet all the way up here and stop here remove stitch marker and put double crochet And next, chain 60. Just like what we did on the other side of the bag. And after chain 60, make a uh, double crochet in this stitch with a stitch marker. And continue making a double crochet until the end of this round and then slip stitch Next round, two chains and into the same stitch, make a uh, double crochet and continue making a double crochet in each stitch all the way around. We're here at the end of the round and you're gonna slip stitch, chain one, and same stitch, make a single crochet. Make a single crochet in each stitch. At the end of the row, you can just slip stitch and chain one, then cut your yarn. Or you can do like this.
and here we're done our crochet tote bag I think it's pretty very colorful you can put a liner or lining inside optional and you can attach the magnetic snap too I put liner inside and this is how I attach my magnetic snap Thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. God bless you all.